Hi guys, welcome to Love the Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have another pick a card reading, and this is the weekly what's going on with them, commencing October 21 up to October 27, 2019. Each pass was arranged by Archangel Gabriel and Saint Michael. Say to me that you have to relax within this week about love life, but at the same time focus yourself in what you need to do in the work they just want to release this to you so that if you're worried about your person you may actually know what's going on with them and the angels say I'm sensing some people are stalking in social media about you could be because your person is depressed because it's really very heavy within this week okay the emotions and since they are lonely, some of them gave okay, you your social media so that it may uplift their energy. So right now, they suggest to you to pray to God for them and also post something positive in your Facebook account so that they will feel uplifted, okay? Whenever they view your, you know, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram and so forth, okay? Whatever it is. But if you're not into it, and what you can do now to raise a vibration is that you pray, okay? You pray for your person and also do what uplifts your energy, like do something happy. Not basically about drinking, but in a good way, guys, okay? Like doing artistic work, doing the habits that you wanted, and also relax. It's time for a relaxation within this week because, you know, you're gonna purge a lot of pain and sadness okay and it's gonna force you as well to watch some videos we know that okay some people do that for pastime they say you remember um you have to listen to something that is uplifting the angels say if you feel low and depressed because if you will watch a channel that will say negative things the angels say it's not gonna help you but if you have to hear a blunt, honest truth that will um, lower down your vibration, the angels say there is a reason why you need to listen, okay, if it's something negative because God wants to direct you to the right passage or to the one that you are meant to be with, okay, not only in love life but in career or business, you know, because could be we're holding on in a business or in a career or a job that is not really made for us. That's why we didn't feel good on it. And that's another reason why, okay, you feel sad, okay, and lonely inside your job. Though you have a job, though you have a money, but you don't feel it, okay? And remember, have faith in God and trust the divine to this, that all is well, okay? Even though there's hardship in life, and remember this hardship in life will uplift you someday. Okay, it's just your tool so that you'll be prepared for battle the next time around you're gonna encounter that problem, okay? And remember to learn your lessons or else history may happen, okay? If only you didn't change. And some people don't really want to change their attitude, don't really want to change their mindset. Don't be like that, okay, guys? Because basically, if your life is not changing, it's because you need to change something. If you want changes, it happened first in yourself. And even though I will preach about praying, you know, we want something, right? And we need to put an effort on it, not always ask and ask. Because if we ask too much, we're not doing anything, what will happen to our life? right so is there anything else angels they say about your person they are also lonely okay if you're into a relationship like some deeper level because some people doesn't want to hear twin flame and so forth but we can't deny that connection guys because some people has it some people doesn't and those who has will understand this okay there are some people who has this deep connection that um, if they met the one, the twin flame, the, the other half of who they are, um, what's happening is we, we share the feelings, we share the thoughts as well. We cannot deny it. We cannot 
cut cords no matter what we do. Because I tried it in my case scenario when I tried to move on. I also pray to God, I also pray to St. Michael to cut the cords. Okay, but it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, and it's really hard. And what I can suggest to you guys, never tell your person that you can communicate telepathically <laughs> because it's my, you know, it's my biggest mistake. Okay, I tell my person that he can communicate to me by mind. And what happened is that he abused it. Whenever he needs something, he will reach me out by telephone, <laughs> by my mind, okay? By telepathic communication, which is not really good. And until now, it affects me. Now that we're not together, okay? And if that's your case scenario, if you really have someone who can sense your feelings and so forth because you're connected, um, what you can do, okay? If you, you don't have any reason to be sad, it's your person, it's not to you, okay? You can pray for them and, you know, be accepting. I know that it hurts. I know that um, it bothers you. Well, we're into this, guys. I know it's hard. But they are a part of us. They are a part of our life. Even though we ended up not being with them. Okay? Um, they have been a part. And just see what contribution they did for you. Because in my case, Scenario is the one who opened the gates um, towards spirituality. And I won't be here in my channel if it's not because of him. And I do acknowledge it and I really want to apologize to him for hurting him as well with my hurtful words because I was hurt that time. And you know, that's and that's my problem because not everyone is perfect. My problem is if I get angry, if it's too much for me to handle, I, you know, I will do something that is not really good. Like, I will rant or I will say something. And that's really very difficult for me to handle. And the angels told me, well, it's just normal if you're kind. Because if you're kind, really, if you got mad or angry, it will be worse. It will be destructive. Unlike with people who got used to on um, doing bad things. Because, you know, they have been doing that for a very long time. So it's a piece of cake for them. But us, no, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, is there anything else, angels? They say that if you have a strong connection, just relax, okay? Um, remember, it's just normal. It's just normal to have that um, kind of self, um, soulmate level, which is having that di um, difficult situation. Because the angels say, you cannot let go of attachments. You cannot let go of something that is, you know really a part of your soul especially twin flames that is your twin okay and both of you share the same soul you cannot deny it okay you cannot cut the cords on all, all you can do is go with the flow if you can stop it then join them right that's um what they want to say that means that you have to marry them no you just well, um, be there for them, okay? And help them cure since you also feel their emotions that they're sad and lonely. So all you can do is pray if you're in separation if, and if you can't even talk or reach out to them. That's all you can do. So their vibrations may, may be shifted and be in that loving energy and light from the divine, okay? Let the universe help you and the angels say they are just here for you, waiting for you to call on to them to help you if you ask some assistance. And all they want is for you to pray and to trust God to this. If you're encountering difficult situations, um, they tell me it's part of life. It's part, it's part of your journey because they say that you have to do something in the future. Okay, and right now... I'm sorry about the noise. I'm sorry about that. And anyway, 
、um, the angels say that you have to do something on earth someday. Okay, that's why you have that certain experience because in some cases, especially for light workers, okay, they encounter a lot of certain difficulties in their life, unimaginative, okay, and you know it happens for a reason for us to have a compassionate heart, and they say to me that a lot of people failed in being a good person after a turmoil. They became evil because of the evilness of this world, and don't be like a person who you just encounter those things and became something like a monster. Like those people who hurt you, okay. And some people meant to hurt you, okay. They say because there's a reason behind it, and they say that you will know it one day, okay. Why you encounter certain things. I know some things are unforgivable, unforgettable, traumatic. <laughs> okay, I understand your pain. I encounter that I'm a battered wife, and I don't even understand why I got through those things. And I realize、um, that it's because of my mission work, to have a compassionate heart and to understand those people who encounter those things. And also to feel lonely, to、um, be humble, okay? Because if you're someone who was born rich, if you're someone who's born to be something that has a title, and you didn't encounter certain things, how can you understand others, right? So even though we're not worthy for those kind of experiences in our lives, it's calling us to have a compassionate heart. Because people are hurting, and there's only a few people now who has that kind heart deep within. Okay, don't add up to the evilness of this world. The angels say, and you know, instead of being destructive, be someone who's helpful, so that at least you may raise the vibration of the have um for the earth to be like heaven, right? And that is really challenging for the light workers to be a good example for people. And if you're a light worker, take that as a challenge. Even though we are not perfect, we try. Okay, try, try to be kind at least to humankind, and not to add up to the destruction of this world. Okay, so is there anything else, angels? They said that's it. So anyway, we have four piles here. Pile one is the angel of magic. Pile two, angel of success. Pile three, angel of the past. Pile four, angels of commitment. So choose wisely, guys. Don't base it on your ego. Let the cards call on to you. But if no card is calling in, don't force yourself because could be within this week it will not resonate to your person. And the angels say, if you're really having a、uh, trouble in finding a card for you or for your person, then you may ask help as always. And remember, the angels say,、um, you must relax within this week. Okay,、um, don't focus in your ego because your ego will, you know, try to distract you since this. Um, energies within this week is really very heavy, and whenever we are weak within, that is when the ego strikes and evil entities may try to distract us. So, the best thing that you can do is to pray, okay, to have faith, so that these, you know, evil entities may not bug us, okay. Because you know, I remember when we went to Baguio here in the Philippines. It's a、um, province, and it's really、um, a tourist spot here in the Philippines.、Um, when we get there, we decided to go to a haunted house because my friends are excited to see one. And then what happened is that we went there around lunch time. We are hungry. We are tired because we have been visiting places there in Baguio. And then、um, one of my friend, after visiting the haunted mansion, was almost、um, lose herself.、Um, a ghost was trying to 
get over with her body, but luckily, um, one of our companions knows how to summon or how to get the soul back to the body. Okay, because when we are in the restaurant, she was acting weird. Okay, she, she is kind of defensive. She's fighting the waiter, kind of destructive stuff, and I don't know why. Why she's angry? I try to talk. Okay, and right now, you know, the angels say to avoid those kind of things scenario in your life. Be faithful because that friend of mine. Um, she doesn't, you know, she rather not believe on anything, okay? And she's feel, um, she feel weak that time and she doesn't have faith. And that's why, you know, this ghost took over her body. But, you know, the technique of it, if it, um, if you encounter certain thing, what you can do is, you know, tap the shoulder of your person or the one that is losing herself and then say her name many times or his name okay stay many times until the soul will get back to the body okay but if your person is kind of destructive um you need to tie that person before you you know because you might get hurt Especially if really a bad entity went on to your person. Because if it's a ghost, it's just light. But if it's an evil entity, it's not really good. Okay? So, is there anything else, angels? They said that's it. So, anyway, um, if you're not yet ready, if you haven't chosen your pal yet, just post your video. And I proceed now with pal number one. Hi guys, for those who chose pile number one, which is the Angel of Magic, the Magician card, here is your reading. Alright, so let's see what's going on with your person, pile number one. So here is the overall theme. You got soulmates both ways, they tell, round and round drippers, they tell me. And then clean it up in either way. The angels told me that you may resonate with number two. I don't know what is number two because I haven't done it when I did this. Okay, just check. Okay, no place like home. And then for Kinder Road, in either way, they tell not for you and also mending both ways. I feel like you're regretful about the past. Whatever reason is, it is. So, we'll check about their energy. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know how does a person of pile number one feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together. Two more shuffles, they say. You must release your ego of wanting this person according to the angels. They are not healthy for you, they say. They will just create another year of sadness if you choose them according to the angels. Because right now, the angels are asking them to be single. That's what I am sensing with the energy vibe of your person. Like they feel very low and depressed as of this time. Because they are being asked to reflect on what they did for this year. If they have been player types, well, they feel regretful of the actions that they did in the past and those people involved whom they hurt. But we will check. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know it's time to move on from them, the angels say. What's going on with the person of pal number 1 commencing October 21 up to October 27, 2019? They miss you, your energy, and they're very sad right now and upset about themselves. And it has nothing to do with you. What do I mean by that? Whatever action they did in the past, it has nothing to do with you. It's not, 
Is there a ego who destroyed your connection? That's what I'm sensing. It's not your fault. So, overall energy is the lookout in reverse or upright. More on reverse according to the angels for that card. What is the outcome? This is upright detail. And you also got this card. They are in a healing process right now. They left someone behind. And I feel like it's not you. It's another person. A third party situation here. Like, I'm sensing like after your connection, they got involved again in a third party. They, they keep on hurting people's feelings. But they will clarify the cards. They could be player types. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. This help us clarify so we may be able to understand. If you are one of their connection, I'm sensing like they like you a lot. They are in love with you, inspired even of your words, of your actions. And I feel like you're not looking at them anymore. You don't like them anymore. Because of whatever reason that happened or conspired between you guys. They keep on saying in my mind, it's time to move on already. So... This is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. You got to look out in reverse or upright. But then the angels say it's more likely in reverse. Why is it like that? Well, as I see here, your person needs to cooperate with us, the angels say. It's because he or she has been through this ship that is burning. And look at this if it's in upright. This person haven't take that leap of faith to jump from this burning ship. Okay? And what happened is that it is a sin reverse because this person that you're dealing with is currently in a healing process since they already jump the ship. Okay? That is burning so that they will be successful and happy. Because I feel like um, they undergo a lot of circumstances inside that ship. That's why it's burning. That's why there's anger, there's pain, there's certain negativity here. This is how I feel with this card. The obstacles that they encounter with, with another person. It's not you, okay? Another person, third party. And then the next card is um, the birth. So what I have here, guys, is that they are overcoming the pain and anxiety, depressions. And I'm seeing here that they are more closer to God and now. They are awakening, which is really a good thing. If they are a player type before, they could be someone who's attractive. And I feel like this is them. They're finally looking up to God. Rather than be with this kind of person whom is after, you know, whatever they like, they desire. Because right now, they, they want to move on. They are tired of the games. They want real love in their life. Because what they only have is passion, but not basically the real love that they seek of. Okay, and they realize that their world um, are always repetitive. Okay, since they keep on breaking hearts, they keep on doing nasty things. So what happened is that bad karma is always striking them. And it's time for them to move on, to have a new start, fresh start with their life. And I'm seeing here that they are trying to let go of their passionate desires. I think that some of them are addictive to it. And they're trying not to look at it, to be honest, by the faith in the divine. 
And then the next card is the two worlds, yes. What's going on with them is that they get out of this situation wherein they're sadness and they're not happy. And if they are player types before, if they keep on doing this to others, they got tired of it. Because, you know, they, they didn't feel happy of what they're doing and they feel regretful about the past hurts and pain and about those people involved whom they hurt in the past. And they are moving away from this kind of negative energy that they had. They are changing drastically according to the angels and the heaven is helping them to push forward with their life, to change their bad attitude, and also to let go of certain negativity or certain negative attitude that they had. And then the next is the Queen of Roses in reverse. So what I have here is that they have a lot of admirers, okay? They could be, you know, as I say, always player types, okay? And I feel like they are trying to let go of their passion for men, for women, for, you know, fall in love right away. They're trying not to fall in love with those roses, not to fall into the trap again of those things because they're moving away from conflicts. They are not returning back on what they are before. And then the next is spring. So what I have here is that this person could be someone who's not abundant in their life because of what's going on with their lifestyle as you can see here past lifestyle and now they're holding on to their money to their abundance they're learning to save money as well and it will give them more abundance in their life since they are letting go of certain things that doesn't serve them and as well as they're learning to change for the better and not for the worse, the angels say, and they are also returning back to the light, to God. And they will be peaceful one day. They will be successful and happy. Path unknown. So I believe that they're, they're not indecisive anymore. If before they're player types, they don't know what they want. Now they know exactly what they want. Probably they finally found the one that is for them. And they realize that is the person for them and they're trying to change for the better so that they can be able to move back to that person whom loved them very deeply because they, right now they are in this transformation mode. They put an ending, as I told you, to certain things that's hurting. Yeah, and they're full of regrets of not I'm sensing like they cheated on someone and whom they are meant to be with. They didn't pay attention to that person and they feel regretful about it, okay, about what they did in the past and it pushed them to transform because I feel like they can't take it anymore. They keep on thinking about that person whom they hurt in the past and I'm seeing here that it happens because the heaven wants to change them and because this person, whoever this was, whom they broke their heart with, um, is a reason why they change. Because they can sleep at night, as you can see here, about their guilt, about their regret of choosing the wrong person. And I feel that they cheated on this person, whoever that was. I feel like um, they know what they want now. Whoever this is that they made up their mind whom they want to marry someday, I feel like that person is the one that they cheated before and um, they put into a third party situation before. And I feel like they're trying not to, you know, carry the swords of the past when they go back. That is why they are in a hermit mode. They are thinking what to do with their life. They are trying to replan their life and also um, changing. Okay, As I told you, they are changing. They are purging the pain so that the swords will be released from them. And which is good. 9, 10 and then after the 10 is a new beginning for them. A fresh new start. 
because they transform into a beautiful butterfly after this kind of transition. So within this week, they will be purging pain. Okay, up in the air in reverse. So they are aware that they are not yet prepared for love life. Okay, that's why it's not on their mind right now because they're focused on healing, they're focused on changing their lives. And that's why if you want this person to reconnect with you, it will not happen. No reconciliation. Why? Because they're healing. They're fixing their life for the future. Okay? And that's what's going on. They're not taking any action to any love life right now. If a lot of people likes them, well, uh, they are not even looking at those people. They're looking at the divine, at God, at the heaven, at the angels and saints so here is the outcome for this reading so you got the waterfall yeah they are gonna leave the drama behind because whatever they have is dramatic something that is toxic for them and they're now in soul searching so that they can have this missing piece in their heart the one that they chose okay the one that they um hurt in the past i think that they're planning to do something behind the closed doors and with the moon here it's all about secrecy because i felt drawn to the moon and with these mountains i feel like it's gonna take a long for them to rebuild their life and i feel like they plan to be single and be happy without you know toxicity in their life even without the person that they hurt in the past because I feel like um, some of them, the person that they hurt doesn't want to accept them back. And they feel like they will be single forever. Which is really sad. Next, the outcome is the scribe. Um, sensei here, yeah, they, they are in a hermit mode. They rather be alone rather than be with their friends, family. It's because they feel regretful of what they are have become okay and they try to you know mend their heart and i feel like they're moving away from toxic friends even and they they let go of a lot of things that cup okay if there's a third party involved i feel like they don't like it anymore they don't like to be player types anymore Okay, and they're now accepting God in their life, which is really a good thing. And it's helping them to release what they are before. Okay, to put an ending to what they have. Because the world, the globe here, okay, I felt drawn to it. And it reminds me of the world card. And the world card is also endings, right? To start a new beginning. And that is why they this person okay they they have an urge to let go of it because of god because of faith to the divine and then the next is they say to me that they are divinely guided towards the person that they hurt in the past but the person that they hurt in the past is like this okay very defensive it's it's like um they don't want to take your person back because of whatever happened or whatever reason it is. I don't know if it's you guys or another person, but that is how I feel. Like the one that they felt drawn to, the one that they love and hurt, um, really doesn't want them back or really broken hearted. I wanna cry when I hold this card because I still feel their person's pain, whoever that was. And then the next is the Oracle of Delphi. So as I told you, this person still likes the thing of the past, whoever they hurt in the past. And But this person didn't look at them. This person is looking away from them. Okay? Because this person, as I see, offer them something. Give them their cup. But then... This person didn't see that the tree is growing, didn't see this person's verse now since they are broken hearted. I feel like both of them are single as of this time, okay? Whoever this person dealt with in the past that they hurt. And I feel like, I don't know why I feel tears. 
this person could be crying because the other person doesn't want them anymore. Could be this person has moved on and find someone else better than them because they think that um, waiting for this person is just, you know, mind games. That's why they rather left and find someone else new. That could be. Just say what resonates, okay? It's really very a hard, hard card, hard pile here that I hold. And then we're setting your course. So I believe that this person um, wants to be happy, wants to forget the past, wants to start a new beginning with the right friends. And since the rainbow has a meaning, it has to do with salvation of God because, you know, it is another symbolism of it. And I feel like um, they're trying to, they're trying hard to forget their ego, to forget what they are before with a page of ones. Somebody whom is passionate, somebody whom still a page. And I feel like they're viewing, reviewing their past, what happened to them in the past. And they are realizing what they need to change. Because look at this, okay? Whomever this was, they are turning into someone whom is wiser because of what happened in the past, of what they are in the past. Alright, that is heavy. We'll now see about the romance angels of how they feel and how they see about your situation so with the true love here if you're the person whom they cheated on in the past and they see as their partner to be in the future they know that this person whomever that was didn't see them as someone whom is the true love okay because this person whoever this is retreated from them and they want to return back to this person who doesn't see them as the true love, okay? And I feel like they're planning to force this person of the past to come and join them um, after this, you know, transformation that happened in their life. And they are regretful of what happened. And I feel that whomever they are in a relationship with third party and so ever, they're letting that go. They're letting even some friends go in their life, those whom are a bad influence to them. And they're forgiving and learning about themselves, about the past. And they are divinely guided by God, by the divine and I feel like this person is, you know, trying to let go as well of the codependency. They are afraid of you, whom, of you, if you are the one whom they broke their heart with, this one. They are afraid of you. Like, they feel like you're not gonna accept them back because of their codependency issues. That's why um, they rather not to go towards you yet. Because they, they are aware that they need to release a lot of people in their life and to get rid of their playfulness, which is them flirting to other girls or men, being somebody who is codependent, who has bad addictions and so forth, okay, before they move on. Because move on to towards this person whoever this is because they are aware that this person will continue on being defensive if they are in the same vibration as they are in the past that is how they see about the situation but if you ask me if they still have feelings for you well i don't know who you are the viewer because there's a lot of people watching my video some of them or this person's past lover whom they lied to in the past or whoever this was. While well, some of you, you could be one of the lovers of this person and you want to know about them. That's why I can tell you exactly um, about their feelings about you, okay? Please understand me. This is a general reading. A lot of people are watching my videos. Just That's why I ask you take what resonates, alright? 
So anyway, this is the overall theme. You got soulmates in either way. So I feel like this person, as I told you, they have someone in the past whom they are attached with, whom they have feelings for, and that person still holds the key to their heart. But they let this person go. Why? Because of their player type vibration. Because that is how I see with this card. Or because of addictions, whatever it is. And they want to put an ending to this codependency issue that they have. So that they can go back to whomever this is, to the home. Because they realize that after dealing with certain relationships, people in their life, there's no place like home. Nobody is like this soulmate whom they are attached with. That is why before they are like this. They don't want to let go of certain negativity in their life. But since they realize this about that loving vibration that they feel from this person, it pushed them to clean what is not really meant for them. What is not meant for them? Well, those people that are not in their same vibration or soul family tribe, those people that are really not resonating or a bad influence in their life. They are returning back to their home, the angels say. That's why they have to clean up this mess because they know this queen or this king, whoever this was, will never accept them if they are like the same you know, person. So for the fork in the road, before they are like this, they are very indecisive. They have a lot of options, as you can see with the queen of roses. Where is it? This one. Okay, they have a lot of options. And they are someone could be, they, they are like this in the past. Like they have addictions. They have been a player type and so forth. They don't know what it is that they want in a man or a woman. That's why they keep on searching. And they keep on, you know, dealing with a lot of people. Because they don't know what they want. They just, you know, after for games. And remember, the playfulness now is in reverse, okay? Because before they are like this. That's why they are indecisive since they have been in this playfulness energy. And now since, you know, they are changing, they realize that they are not happy anymore of what they're doing because the sun is in reverse here of playing games with others, breaking people's hearts. They now realize it's over. They don't want this indecisiveness anymore in their life. They want to change. They want to be with a person that they really want to marry. They want to feel this loving vibration again. That's why they are mending themselves so that I feel like they have a soul connection with this person. As I told you in the intro, okay, some people have string flames or such soulmate connection that is really unremovable. Whenever you try to cut cords, it's still there. It's, it's still connected. And I feel like whomever the soulmate is, they have a strong connection together. And I feel like before, they're not accepting the connection. And now they realize what they want in life. They finally, in this phase wherein they know the path now, which way to go. And it is to their home. And they are mending. And I feel like they're divinely guided because I feel drawn to this face over here. They're looking up to God now. Before they are lost, before they are like this, they didn't see the negativity. They didn't see the worth of their counterpart, whoever that was. And now they're, they are waking up. They're coming to their senses what it is they want. So you got the magician. Because their person is turning like this. Like, even though they're starting off from the scratch, they are finally manifesting what it is that they want. Okay, the angel of magic. And I feel like the angels, whomever 
they believe in is supporting them. That's why um, after this downfall in their life, they're gonna have abundance and joy. Reminds me of this springtime. Could be in spring, they will start to bloom again. And in this autumn phase, I feel like um, it's autumn right now now right and it is a moment for them for contemplation healing work to let go of these passionate desires of what they are in the past so that they will reach this phase of spring in their life of their abundance and joy i'm sorry about that guys and anyway um yeah your person is changing and it could be in spring they will bloom okay they will bloom into abundance and joy because they finally you know let go of their codependency issues and they can manifest anything and they are manifesting right now the the hard way why because they are purging the pain of the past and it's the angels say they some of them are tempted still with this okay but then they're realizing what they need to do in order for them to heal that kind of addiction okay so let's see what do they want to tell you pile number one so you have i dream of you okay i'm gonna make this quick i'll just place it based on what the angels are telling me They told me to clarify everything, so we will clarify um, what they are saying to you guys. That's why I didn't show it to you first. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the messages of the person of pile number one for them. Some of them are indecisive as of this time, if they're still carrying that codependency issue. Because, you know, if you watch this, I release this on Sunday. It could be because you watch it on Sunday. <laughs> That's why they're not transforming yet, okay? But then within this week, they're gonna push forward in reflection, deep healing. Okay, that's what's going on with your person. And be happy for them if they change. <laughs> Look at that strong emotions. And if you're the past person, they really want to hug you again. That's what I'm sensing. The past person that they want to be with, okay? So your first message is I dream of you in both ways. I believe that they dream about you, but then... They are trying to let go of that dream or they are trying to distract themselves so that they, th they will think, Hey, that dream doesn't matter to me. Okay, that's what they are. But then they want to say this to you, that they dream about you because, you know, look at that. Because they're not opening up their heart to the one that they want to marry someday, the one that they feel the connection and i'm sensing here that because of their love because they are in love with this person it pushed them to end the cycle or break the chains of the past because they really hurt of whatever they did in the past and they are regretful of not showing their love to the person that they have a connection with and then with i don't need you in reverse so i believe that it's because of the third party involved the angels say that they don't need you in the past but right now since i feel like they let go already they are single and they want to say that they need you right now because i'm purging a lot of pain that's what they want to say i've been through a lot and i want your hug i want your love you didn't see the possibility. So that is why they didn't embrace the connection before with their person that um, they feel the connection of because they think probably there are indifference based on physical looks, could be the age, 
or you know could be same sex same gender could be just like what resonates okay that's why they didn't acknowledge the connection at first and then the other is you lessen the distance in both ways could be before you're the one whom is doing this you're the one who's approaching you're the one who's doing something to make things work but right now since you move away from them um what happened is that you know it's pushed them to do this to be alone like um they miss you they miss you being that loving energy being um somebody who is the one who's approaching they miss it a lot because i feel like they're a top type of person wherein they didn't take any action when it comes to you the future of me is you so for the one that they feel the connection with um they really want to go towards you and they feel still that strong attraction that love for you and they feel joyful whenever it comes to you and i feel like um they only find this with you not with other girls not with other men all right and i feel like if they will fly they need to you know break those people or let go of certain things before they don't want it but now i feel like they realize that you are the one for them in the future that's what that's what they want now because before they don't i'm giving up on you in both ways and i feel like um before they are like this and now they are reversed okay they they didn't want to give up on you though they tried they tried to date other women other men it didn't work it just makes things worse um they broke your heart they broke people's heart they are not being honest to themselves they love someone whom they are not in connection with so how will they feel they feel like this they feel hurt they feel regretful okay and they realize that they don't feel passionate or they don't have that kind of connection with others that's why they let go i feel like they hurt a lot of peoples um a lot of people that are in connection with them before not only you but others as well anyway let's see what else i want to change why they want to change because they're tired of drama in their life okay and now they realize that um whomever they left in the past whomever they have a deep connection with this person gave them the love that they wanted and they really have a good chemistry together when they talk and i feel like they want to change because you know because of them being conflicted to others um being involved with a third party being a player type they have a lot on their plate um what happened is that they just destroy this kind of connection and they really want to change they they want to go back to the person that they gave them the love who gave them the love and support that they wanted and then the next if if you really love me come on let it show so as i see here that they're the one whom is in love with you still okay they still have the chain um they're chained to you that's what i'm sensing with a soul connection and with a mending heart um mending card i can hardly speak here okay they feel that tie towards that past person whom they feel attracted on to and whomever the one who lessened the distance i'm sorry that's the bell <laughs> okay so i feel like they miss this they miss the connection and on how this person whoever that was shows them the love because i feel like um their past person don't want them anymore some of them are with the queen of wands energy lately that we have 
That's how I feel. They, I'm saying, saying that they want a sign. Whomever that past person was, they want a sign from you that you still love them. And they're waiting for it. I am weak, so they are aware about their weakness. They are aware that they're a player type whom just let go of connection and then be involved with someone else again. And then, um, the silent voices are driving me crazy. And it has a connection with this one. Okay? It has a connection with this. Because they are denying the connection. They are denying their dreams or the signs. Synchronicities that they are being, you know, shown to. And I feel like it's because the heaven wants them to accept the truth or wants them to change. So that um, they will be a better person one day. And now since they realize it, they are changing. They say... My love is just for you in both ways. So before they are like this, like they fell in love with different people. They are indecisive when it comes to love. They don't e they don't in only love you. I can hardly speak. Because their throat chakra is black right now, according to the angels it's and saints, they say. It's not yet a time for them to express their love for you since they are healing, they say. And right now, they're still in love with you. Okay. And I feel like they're single right now. Because they are saying this to you in upright right now. Because before it's like this. And now it's upright. And I feel like they're also juggling between you and the money. And I feel like they're busy working. Though they are like that, they're still looking at your social media. If you block this person, they might be asking about you. Okay, to others. Because with the two of hearts, finally, they accept your cup. Finally, they see your worth. Finally, they see you as their ideal match, ideal partner, their soulmate, and whatsoever you called it. And I feel like the angels... And saints even are combining you together. That's why you feel the attraction. I think that if you're the one who's connected with this person, you will feel it in a deeper level. Like, you feel like they're returning back to you. They're, they are returning back to God. You can sense it, okay? If you guys are in a spiritual journey, it's what I sense. So, let's see what are the advice from the angels so you got in the near future. So, I'm sensing more likely spring is what I really have in mind, guys. So, in the future, there will be reconciliation and in the future, they will be abundant. And once that they have it, I feel like they will be single but happy with where they are in the future because they will let go of difficulty or certain negativity in their life and when they move on from it when they became abundant that is when you guys will you know reconcile and talk to each other again and i feel like they will be divinely guided towards you and i sense marriage as well in the near future for some okay that could be because they will be very abundant once that they let go of the past once that they change because they follow god's plan and i feel like they are divinely guided towards that, the light towards the destiny the angels say so here are the other advice you got nurture yourself investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later so this is what you need to focus on okay because the vibration of your person is very low as of this time since they are purging so if you're connected to this person you're gonna feel their vibration as well that lowly vibration purging you will be pushed on to lower okay that is why they ask you right now to do what makes you happy to focus on yourself in healing don't worry so much of this person because this person is also purging the pain 
okay, of the past. And then the next is pay attention to your dreams. So you have dreams twice already. So could be you guys are dreaming of each other already because you're coming back um, to be reunited again according to the angels. You're receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. So, even though if it's not dream, if you don't have dreams, could be signs, okay? Pay attention to it because I believe some of you are denying it with a hand gesture of this person. And you guys are on the same vibration because this person is like you whom can af um, dream about you but then deny it. If you deny your dream, um, this person is denying it as well. So if this is your twin flame or so ever you called it, you are a mirror of each other. Whatever you do, if you're not accepting them, they are not accepting you as well. Okay, that could be and then the next is have confidence in your creations trust in the power of god's creativity which is being manifested through you so within this week you're gonna be focused more likely in your creative projects on what makes you happy because the angels say the energy or vibration is down as of this time and you're being called on to do those things that makes you happy so that you can help rise the vibration of yourself not only to you but also your person whom is purging within this week so these are the other advice you have when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe so this is what you need to do as of this time be in that joyful presence do what makes you happy Next is obstacles are detours in the right direction. And this is about your person, okay? Um, they encounter a lot in their life. And I know that their journey is not really good um, as it is because they have been players, they have been a bad person in the past. But because of those things that they encounter, it pushed them onto the right path because finally they are waking up, they're coming to their senses that what they have been doing in the past didn't serve them. Okay, didn't make them happy. That is why your sun card is in reverse. Okay, because they are waking up, they're being aware of whatever they did. And they want to say sorry to those people whom they hurt. That also comes up. And also with this one, remember that God called on to people. You know, some people that God called on to didn't really have a good past. Someone like um, St. Paul, okay? St. Paul is a murderer in the past. But then after God called him, he became a saint he became a preacher right and same goes with your person you know remember that everyone has kindness in their heart and there's reason why they are became hysterical they became bad but then there's a possibility that they can change and continue on trusting that people can change some people can't you will say but you know, believe in the impossible. Believe in the possible and impossible at the same time. They say the more that you believe, the more that it will manifest with a magician here. Okay, positive thinking brings positive results. That's what you need to remember. And if you... Because I, it reminds me of the gospel, okay? Or what you need to learn about the gospel for today. Because today, um, in Philippine time, it's Sunday when I filmed this. And I went to church. And the gospel is about prayer. Okay, how important prayer is. And also, how you need um, to be somebody who um, is also have faith in God, in prayers that it can manifest someday. And then the next is there is a stream of God's 
um, sorry, there's a stream of love supporting my dreams. So anyway, after this purging and hurt of your person, they will rise up again, okay? And they need to let go of these things. And I feel like if you're connected with this person, you might feel this way. You might feel like your eyes are crying. It's not you. It's your person. They are crying. And then the hope is the conduit for miracles. So continue on um, praying for them. Continue on trusting the divine to this, okay? And be hopeful that miracles do happen. If you think that your person can't transform, well, they can, okay? Believe in the miracles. Be hopeful and joyful for them. Be in the presence of light and love so that when your person will come back to you, you will be able to accept your person back because they are meant for you and it's not only about passion it's about being true and honest to yourself being a light worker and so forth then the next is i am a spirit having a human experience and i'm here to get closer to love so if this person hurt you in the past they say that it's because this person needs to learn something from what they did okay and it will push them to be awakened just like these obstacles okay and the angels say um even though it didn't give you any advantage of when they hurt you they say um it brings them into the light from dark to light that's what um that's why they say you encounter those things so that you may learn something as well not to give in right away to love the angels say not to give in right away to player types and remember um, what you learn from this person is that you must know whom they really are before you step in a connection but if you're the one who's the one who's mending the one who's connected to them they say that your emotion is true and honest like you feel that deep connection because you are meant to be with this person in this lifetime and you feel that connection because he or she is your twin flame or higher level soulmate and you are meant to help each other out for the sake of love for the sake of humanity or your divine purpose on earth and then the next is my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing conflict into growth and fear into love so they say that you also need healing work and i feel like the one who chose number one um this person could have hurt you in the past if ever that is um take some time for your healing work to do and so that you may be able to accept if ever this person will come back but if not if they will not reach out it's on your part to do your healing work so your vibration will be lifted higher and you can help this person also if you purge because that negative vibration of that person will be gone from your system and also it will be released as well from their heart from their mind body and soul the attachment okay so is there anything else angels they said that's it so thank you for watching pal number one and sending you peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose pal number two which is the angel of success the world card here is your reading all right so let's see what's going on with your person pile number two so here is the overall theme of this reading you got co-create both ways they tell thinker reverse they say go the distance and then deep knowing and treasure island this person have been crying a lot about you that's what i'm sensing guys but we'll see about your energy. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know. How does a person of pile number two feel about them? And how do they see about their situation and connection together? 
One more shuffle, they say. They are divinely guided by God so that um, they will get back to the one that they deserve. They are releasing bad entities or evil energies right now as of this time. And it has a connection with pile number one. If you are the person that they want to marry or the one that they have a deep connection with, well, this is your pile, okay? But if not, don't force yourself. We'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know what's going on with the person of pile number 2 commencing October 21 up to October 27, 2019. Your person likes you a lot and was thinking about the deep connection that you guys had. What do you mean by connection? Soul connection that they didn't feel into anyone else because it's very rare and not all people will have that kind of connection and they feel loved and blessed by the divine because they met already the person that they seek and they really want to marry this person for the rest of their life. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. It's upright according to the angels. And here is the outcome of the reading. We have a lot of outcome. We will clarify the cards. Don't worry guys, I'll show to you the cards later. You just got a lot of cards here. But then we'll see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. God loves you a lot, they want to say to the viewers. And you've been waiting for this person for a very long time to change. And they understand the pain struggles that you encounter because they break your heart. And this person finally realized the worth of the connection. And they are coming to their senses. They're changing their mind. If they have someone, I feel like they have a change of heart. They really want to reach out to you to contact you right away. After the awakening process, the angels say, because you are the one that they really wanted and they deserve for the rest of their life. And they're making you as an inspiration to change. For the better for themselves not only for you but for them as well so here is the overall energy you got the ingressant moon so as you can see this person is only focused on you they have other you know they painted a lot of girls in the background as you can see but then look at that how focused this person was to you and I feel with the moon, they didn't tell it to anyone how important you are in their lives. And your connection could be a secret. Okay, this could be a secret admirer as well that you don't know about. But then we'll see. And this person is kind of focused now on their own finances and they are fixing their life. They are saving their money, their abundance, and I feel like they are joyful in knowing you. Because if they didn't know you, they don't know what to do. Because before, I feel like they are somebody who's indecisive, doesn't know what they want, doesn't know what to do in their life, and so forth. And I feel like you are the one who directed their person to be single, to fix their life, to be abundant, and to save money. 
game which is really a good thing first card is archangel Raphael. so that is the energy and this is supporting cards um, Archangel Raphael um, is pushing them to heal about the past hurts and pain that they have done to you because I feel like this person hurt you because of their passionate desires and they are the reason why you are in balance, you are in reverse, okay, because you see here what kind of men or women they are before it's like they have this you know negative codependency issues they have um betrayed a lot of people could be they could be a player type somebody whom is in and out of a relationship and i feel like they move away from you they cheated could be or put you in a third party situation and I feel like right now, within this week, they're gonna focus on their healing work. And they're gonna purge a lot of pain, anxiety, problem even of what they did, of their actions in the past with regards to you. And then with the Buddha prepares, they are gonna be ret um, in a hermit mode. They will retreat from the people around them. They will be into spirituality as well. And they will release a lot of certain things in their life. And I feel like they are single. They are single. If you think that they have someone else, they are single. They are not into finding another lover. That's what I'm sensing. They retreat from their old patterns the angels say that's why they turn to be in the nine of cups energy now let's see why they could be someone who is a player type okay who is a player type and they broke a lot of they broke your heart they could break other people's heart as well and you're somebody who is spiritual you're somebody who taught them a lot of things in life, what to do, and so forth. You could be a preacher. You could post something in social media that uplifts them. And then since the tower moment happens, since you're not in the same page, not in the same vibration, could be you're someone who's loyal and this person is not. You want to tie this person, but then this person doesn't want it because they are players, okay? You offered your cup of love, but then this person didn't accept. They moved away from you. They cheated. And I feel like they are reflecting of what they did. Okay, that's a connection with this one. Okay, the first supporting energy. And I feel like right now they're moving towards being single and happy, being alone. So that they can be able to purge the pain. They can be able to let go of certain things that is holding them back in the past. So that you guys will be on the same page. With the tower here, I feel like you guys have a fall apart. Uh, fell apart. To the point wherein you don't like this person anymore because they hurt you. Like that love became hate. That's also what I sense with the Queen of Cups energy here. Because they move away. They cheated. And I feel like even you, you're single. And this person is as well. You retreated to them due to the fact that you don't want them back in their life. You don't want them back in your life, sorry. And you don't want heartaches anymore. You don't want dramas anymore. So, I feel like this... This third party situation is over as well. They're single. And you as well. So, this is heavy. Ark of the Covenant. I feel like whatever happened, they retreated for both the third party and to you. Because this is the karmic. This is you, guys. You have deep connection with this person in terms of spirituality. But they're just attracted to this person for passionate desires and so forth. If not third party, it could be whatever they are addictive to or something that is negative. And I see here, yeah, they cheated on you. Though there's a connection, they look at the other person. 
Hmm. But then we'll see what else. And with the clearing the way, I think that they mistreated you. They walk away from you because I see here that they don't want to let go of this codependency before. So I feel like this person might choose this other one aside from you. Might choose this the wrong person because they feel is still attracted to that one. But I feel like if they still doing that, they will feel hurt in the future. Because of the person that they're dealing with is not really healthy for them. There's somebody who's toxic. Somebody who is, yeah, good for, you know, passion, but not really when it comes to love. And I feel like the heaven is trying to make this person realize that what they have is something that is hurting them. I don't know why I want to laugh because uh, the angels say they're so stubborn and they don't want to let go of this person. That's what I'm sensing. With the Queen of Swords, they're not thinking logically. This is in reverse. And with the Nine of Wands, they let go of the person that they feel so connected with. To be with this person. And I feel like they're just using that person so they won't get broken hearted when it comes to you. Because this is really a soul connection. Hmm. Let's see about the outcome. I got confused. I thought that they will go back to the person that they have, you know, soul connection with. I got confused all of a sudden. But I hope that you may get some clarity with this outcome. So you got a karmic trench here. And I see that this person is so lonely as of this time. They release a lot of egotistical mindset. They're focused on work. They're focused on one person is what I'm sensing here. They're single. But still deeply attached to you if you're the one whom both parties, I think. <laughs> but if you're drawn to number one, they are attached to the person that they have a deep connection with when it comes to soul level. But if only number two, they are attached to the to the beauty of this other one. They could it could be, okay? They're gonna purge a lot of pain within this week. That's what's going on with them. I feel like they they gonna change their career, some of them. Could be the karmic Easter career. That can be, okay? That's why they're gonna let go of it. They're gonna retreat. They're gonna purge the pain so that they can be here in their, in the one that they are meant to be or to the path that they are meant to be. Another outcome is a treasure reverse. So with this one, whomever they hurt in the past, I feel like you're gonna deserve uh, what they call this there's justice here they are gonna reconcile to the one that they broke apart or they are doing what's best for them i also feel with the justice here justice was on their side whatever happened whomever this is or hmm could be somebody cheated on them they will have that justice. Or if somebody stole their money, they will receive justice. Just like what resonates. With the reflection, I feel like... Why is it what water is here? <laughs> okay. So with the reflection, they're gonna purge the pain. As I told you, within this week, they're gonna do it because they pay attention to the wrong person. And they... With the world, I feel like the heaven is pushing them to reflect because they are not letting go yet 
of the person that they put an attention with because the heaven is pushing them to return to God. Because uh, pile number one is also about uh, them reaching out to God. And I feel like they will be single if they follow it. This is another outcome. They are being called on to release this person that is toxic to them. That is not healthy for them. They might reach out to you for some reason that they need guidance and love from you. But if you're still angry with this person, you might deny them. That's what I'm sensing as well. So you got the King of Keys in reverse. So I feel like um, as of this time, they're not really ready to go forward in terms of relationship matter. They feel depressed within this week. To the point wherein they don't really want to take any action. They rather sleep in bed or um, do some meditation healing process. Because they mistreated somebody in the past as you can see with this. And then the next is Swing Messengers. So they say to me that if you are the one whom they hurt, whom... They retreated on whom they chose someone else over you. I think that they're still doing that within this week. Sorry, guys. Some, some of them are. This is the outcome. You could be in a relationship where eh, nobody knows that you guys are connected. That could be. And I'm seeing here with the Wheel of Fortune... It's gonna happen again. Hmm, that, they're so attached to this. With the Queen of Scrolls, I believe that this is you. You're protecting yourself from them and they are also to you. Because I feel like you're somebody who knows what's gonna happen next. That's why you're protecting yourself from them while they know... Uh, they stand underground. They are holding on to this false person still. They're not gonna change. It's really sad. Commitment. I feel like they still like that person. The past person. But I feel like they're being closer to God. To the point wherein they will let go of whoever this was. That's what I'm sensing here. They will feel a strong bond to you because, you know, they say that they are being drawn towards the past person who they broke heart with. This one is really confusing energy here. Within this week, I think they're gonna reach out to the person that they broke heart with, though they feel still attracted to this one. And they are being pushed on to release this person, whoever this was, because it is bad for them. So that they can be able to be committed on the one that they really have deep, this deep connection with. There's a lot of outcome. It's because it depends on your person. We have free will in this world. Remember that, guys, okay? And it's really up to us what we choose. Diversity. And some of them gonna fight the universe. Gonna fight God. Gonna fight um, what's destined to be. And what will happen is that since they are fighting, they are egotistical, they will lose a lot of money if they fight this, if they fight their feelings, if they fight their emotions for you. And with the diversity, I feel like this is you. This is not them. Like even though they are away, they didn't choose you, you're still holding on to your plans. You're still standing in your power. Like you don't even look at them anymore. 
because they hurt you. You had enough of their drama. Anyway, here are their feelings for you. And how do they see about the situation? Pay attention to the red flags. I feel like... Hmm... You're not looking at them anymore in social media. They are aware. Like you don't mind them. You don't like them anymore because of what they did to you. And with the finances in career, as I told you, some of them are leaving a career. So that they can have a job that they truly wanted that could be if they have financial issue before it's not a hindrance anymore because they're moving on to another career with pay attention to the red flags some of them are not really looking at your social media some of them but i feel like some of them still looks at you could be okay i get it why this is in reverse and this is upright? I feel like they are trying to portray to the world that they're not looking at you. When all honesty, they are looking at you. Okay? But then, with a, you deserve love here in reverse. Because of the third party, you don't want them anymore. And you don't want traumas anymore. And they're the one who only like you, but I feel like you don't like them anymore. That's what I feel. You deserve love reverse. I feel like you're with someone else now. Could be. You're pointing onto another direction in your life. And this person is the one who is trying to get you back in their life. So that's how they see the situation. Like you're not interested anymore. They have feelings for you, but then you're rejecting them. That could be. Hmm. That's so deep and very confusing, guys. All right. So we'll see about the overall theme. So you guys co-create, and I feel like before you guys are together. But then you don't like this person, you move away because they cheated, they mistreat you, they exchange you for someone else. And you're tired of their drama, that's why um, you're drawn away. But then with this deep knowing, I feel like this person will come back to you one day. And you still feel that deep connection with this person though you walk away. Okay? And this person is thinking they feel regretful about what they did but then they rather play around that's what i'm sensing also with their energy they're forcing themselves not to go back to you but then they feel that they, that deep connection with you they can't deny it and you can't deny it you can feel still the connection and i feel like with a thinker in reverse you also is like this, like you don't want to think about them. You don't want them anymore because of the hurt. And with the angel of success, I feel like you're going to be successful even without them. And this person still the same. That's what I'm sensing with the world. That's why the heaven is forcing them to change, forcing them to go back to you, to go back to spirituality so that they can be able to move on from this partnership that is not healthy so that they will let go of their ego as well. I know that this reading is confusing, guys. It's because your person is conflicted as well with someone else. And they are aware that you don't want them back. You don't like them anymore. You're full of hate. That's what I'm sensing with your reading. So anyway, let's see what are their messages for you. Pile number two. You got it hurt so bad. The angels forcing me to do this. I will not read it. <laughs> but I will just let them place the cards like this. It looks like they're so indecisive. 
We will clarify the cards. Let's see why is it like that. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Your person is denying the connection. That's why they are like this. They are using this person, okay, whoever this was, they are using that. So they will not think about you. That's why thinker card is in reverse. But they see you as the one for them. The angels say, number one, if you feel drawn to it, meaning your person will choose uh, a spiritual path. But if one is not calling on to you, it means that they will choose um, the other person, whoever this is, okay? Because this reading might confuse you with a lot of outcomes. Anyway, this is the first message. It hurts so bad sometimes not having you here. This is an easier way. And as I told you, they try to deny the connection, right? They try to be with someone, but that someone is hurting to them. They thought that everything will turn out well with this person or new person that they have, but it got worse. Okay, they long for you even more. Since they can't even feel the love that you give. They can see that on anyone else. And they see you as the partner that they want to marry someday. But I feel also sadness in this card. Because I feel like some of you guys don't want them anymore. Don't want them back. Don't want to marry them. Because of their player type vibe could be. Or because they hurt you drastically. That's why you don't want them anymore. And I feel that sadness in this pile, in this pile of cards I'm holding right now. I'm sensing their energy. I want to cry really when I hold these cards. That's how they feel. Then the next is, I belong with you. So as I told you, they're trying to deny, okay? But in reality, really... They know that you could be the one for them. That's why they're indecisive. Hmm. They're trying their best not to feel this way. By denying it. But then deep within, they wanna say, I belong with you. Tell me you, you'll wait. So, since they are conflicted with a third party, I believe that you walk away. And I told you that with this one, with this card, they are the one who's forcing you to come back. Okay? Because I feel like you're not waiting for them. You retreat. You don't want them back. But then they want to say, hey... Please tell me you'll wait for me. Please tell me you'll wait for me to change. Tell me that you'll wait for me to remove my ex or whoever that was. And then the next is this will be one of those boring games in both ways. So I feel like they rejected you in the past because this is what they thought of. They thought that you will be just like the same girl or same man that, that they dated. But as time goes by, since they retreated from you, they have someone else, they realize your worth by those karmic people that they got involved in. And they realize your worth, they realize you're serious, you're the one that they love, even though they have someone else that pushed them to 
you know, discover that they have feelings for you because of the tower moment that happened between them and the one that they dealt with right now because they never feel this way to others. They never feel loved. They never feel the energy that you give them, that calm energy, that peace and harmony. Like, you guys can get along very well. The chemistry is there. But then, sadly, because of their trust issues, they didn't acknowledge that before. When your love was still there. And now, since they don't have it, they miss it they they miss you a lot as you can see with these cards they miss that guys all right so you also got your name or sound in my head probably um i feel like they see signs about you and they try to deny it okay they try to avoid the signs because it's burdening them they feel guilty of hurting you and I feel like whenever your name or sound in their mind, they feel that they remember the joy that you give them. But then it burdens them because they're dealing with someone else. And also they betrayed you. They feel regretful of what they did. They feel guilty as well. That comes up as well. And then the next is we will make it through. So with this card guys, I feel like um, they want you really to wait for them. That's what um, they want to tell you. Wait for me because we will make it through. But then I feel like this is what you believe in. Like you're tired, you're tired of crying for them. You you're tired of the drama that they they did to you because you feel like they can't even commit to you. They can't even take that leap of faith for you. That's how you see them. Okay? But then this person wants wants you to know that you guys will make it through this mess and i feel like they also want to say to you that how much they care how much they still love you feel the connection they have the feelings for you okay but then they want you to trust them to trust the divine that someday okay they will open up their heart for you they will give you the love that you deserve and you guys will make it through. I really feel sadness in this reading. I really feel that most of you guys gave up on them. Doesn't want them back. I can spell it out for you. It's not that simple. Yeah, they're crying as you can see. Probably they didn't tell you the truth that they love you. Of how they feel. They'd rather choose someone else. Because before they can spell it right, now they really realize how important it is to say your feelings, to admit how much you know you love a person because it's hurting them now. It's hurting for them that they didn't even express their love for you. They're holding back their emotions. They didn't acknowledge the connection. And when you're gone, that is when they acknowledge it that is when they realize you are the one for them as you can see here so the next card is you open up my eyes and what i see here is that before they don't really acknowledge it right and now i feel like some of you okay you could have directed this person on what to do with your life and I feel like you're pushing them to take a leap of faith. They learn something from you. That's what I'm sensing. Like some of you led them to a spiritual growth and healing process. That could be. But if not, just leave it, okay? And I feel like because you love them, because of your nurturing energy, you change them as well from somebody that doesn't care into somebody who cares for others as well, which is really good, guys, okay? Like they bloom. They finally, you know, gave fruits. Like 
It's like a tree that doesn't bear fruits. And now since they realize that they have to be in this loving energy, they have to care for others, they start to bear fruits. They start to realize their birth and their healing from their darkness to sunlight. And that's another reason why they like you because you show them love. You show them the care that you have for others. And it it inspires them to do the same thing. Like if before they are cold and now they are warm. So the next card is why am I crying on my bed? Reverse. And I feel like they try to deny to you that they are crying. Okay? Because they don't want to think about it anymore. With a think or reverse. That's why they're dealing with someone who doesn't even match them. And I feel like this could be a toxic connection. And they're using that person as a rebound to forget you. You hear what's deep inside. Probably you admit this your feeling to this person but you ended up being broken hearted that could be and this person has feelings for you but then they deny it they rather hurt your feelings and they also want to say by this card that they feel the same way i feel the same way but i showed to you something different i became cold to you i lied to you could be they say that I didn't love you and all honesty they love you. They broke your heart drastically to the point wherein you hated them now. That's also what I feel. So many words are left unspoken. So have it reversed or upright, the angels told me. So we will take it this way. Anyway, some of you, as I told you, this person didn't say the three words that I love you gave you the wrong impression could be they say no i don't feel the same way and i feel like they're regretful of not saying those words because before they have been cold they cheated and so forth and now they want to say i wasn't able to tell you the truth i wasn't able to say to you how much i care how much i love you how much i miss you and so forth you're the one who opened up to them while they didn't show you the cards. And I feel like there's someone who chose someone else over you. And I feel like though they saw, they feel or saw the connection, they didn't acknowledge it. They just realized it when they are with someone else. That being with someone is not worth it. Like it became worst. And I feel like they didn't show to you all the cards. And now they want to say, I didn't say those things that I'm hiding from you. I didn't say about my emotions. I really feel something for you, but then I didn't admit it. I have been hard to you. I've been bad to you. And now you're gone. I want to cry. I, I want to say... How much I love you. How much I care. I'm crying. I'm, I'm channeling them. I'm sorry that I have been a fool. I'm sorry that I mistreated you. I know that you deserve someone better than me. Please forgive me for hurting you. Please forgive me for everything that I did. That's what I said. Sorry, guys. I'm sensing their energy, that's that's why I cried. I know that you don't want dramas, but I have to express, okay, how they feel. Anyway, these are the advice for you from the angels. Don't stop, romance, and wait. I feel like with a don't stop, they want to tell, it reminds me of the diversity card that we have as one of the outcomes here. Don't stop to be the diversity. 
that has plans for the future. Even if you're single, um, do this, okay? Um, be somebody who is patient, loving, nurturing. Never stop. Never dim your light because this person hurt you. It's not the reason for you to be someone who is, you know, be like them. Continue on doing your light work job. Continue on serving the world. Continue on following God's plans for you. That's what they want to say. And they say that somebody will come to your life one day. You just have to wait. And that's why they say within this week, continue on being single. Because they say that the right person will come to you one day. And if this person broke your heart, there's a reason behind it. The angels say, someday you will know the truth of the matter here. Anyway, these are the other advice, gratitude, inspiration, and then speech, speeches and speaking. So they also want to tell you the truth of your relationship with this person. Why this person betray you? Why this person came to your life? You have to be grateful of something. You have to see their words, why they came to your life, what is their contribution. And the more accepting you are to the outcome, the more that God will give you something for your future, which is your future love. Learn how to be appreciative of every person in your life. Even though they hurt you, even though they mistreated you, you turn into, um, you turn into a God, um, to God, sorry, you turn to God because of those difficulties in life. And it opened to you in a new way, in a new light, in a new pattern that you are not before. And also you got inspiration. And uh, yes, your idea is divinely inspired. Take action according to set it into motion. Accordingly to set it into motion. I can hardly speak, sorry. Um, anyway, right now you're being called on to do what you really want to do in terms of your creativity. And this is to lessen your sadness because I see you guys, you're single right now. And being single, of course, sometimes you long for love, right? And the angels say, right now the vibration is really low. So what you can do now is to be patient, to wait for the perfect time for love, and also release any pain of sadness that you have. And the angels say, um, your inspiration will be um, based on your, you know, what's going on with your life. What uplifts you is your inf inspiration, sorry. If you're a light worker, your inspiration is your, um, the one that you help and the world, right? And your task on earth mission work, that's your inspiration to push forward. Even if you're alone, you're not alone, guys, okay? God is with you. The angels are with you as well. With these speeches and speaking, and I feel like someday, okay, your person will come back and say those things that they didn't tell you. That's another thing. Because with this um, angel, this angel wears um, white and you still wear the sadness, the anger, the pain. And they say that this person will only come back to you. If you let go of that red gloss that you wear, if you let go of that hatred, because I feel like most of you are angry with your person. And how can you make a person speak if you're angry? If you're somebody who has that grudge within. And right now they are asking you to let that go. If you really want this person to speak out. So what else you have? When I think I surrender, I surrender more. What they want to say is that you need to let go of the outcome. And because you have a lot of outcome here, whether this person will go back to this karmic partner or will, or if this person will accept a spiritual journey and so forth. 
just let go of the outcome no need to stress out with this person and as you can see with this card you are single okay continue on doing it continue on fixing your life manifesting your career doing your light work job and it will help you to surrender more, to shift your focus on something that is hurting. Just like what this person did. But this person, you know, did it in a um, bad way or not really a good um, plan that they use someone as a rebound. Well, in your case scenario, okay, what you can do to surrender is to shift your focus into, you know, being inspired and being happy with your life being grateful for what you have you know be grateful that you walk away from this person that is toxic be grateful that you're not into that drama anymore be thankful to god that you encountered this person because in some cases that person taught you something the lessons in your life be grateful okay and that what that is what matters most is that for you to be appreciative that every people, everything that you encounter in your life is what you're thankful of. I'm a, unapologetic about what I desire and I trust that I focus on will grow. What will I focus on will grow. Sorry again. So anyway, this is what they want you to do right now is to focus on your career, on your finances, on your money, abundance, and joy. And then I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So anyway, um, even though you ended up single, not being with this person, continue on reaching your goals and your dreams and your desire in life. And if you're spiritual, they say you are divinely guided by God as always. You're not alone in this journey. You may be alone in physical world, in 3D world, but in a spiritual world, you are not alone. And you're not single, the angels say, because you're connected to the divine. You're being loved by God. And also, your, you know, your guides, your angels. And even your ancestors that pass away. And even your soul tribe. They love you a lot. And then the next is, When I lean toward love, I am led. So even if you guys are angry with this person, you got that anger within of what you encounter, they want to say, Remember to be in that loving energy of the divine, especially if you're a light worker. You don't need to hold on to that grudge. That's why they want you to focus on the gratitude instead of the hate about this person. I know that you guys hate them for cheating on you, for not choosing you. I understand you. I'm in that vibration before. Okay, but then you miss this, okay? You miss that loving vibe that you give for the world. How can you give that loving vibration if you feel hurt, if you feel anger deep within? Right? So, the only thing that will let you on to the love is to know what you need to be thankful about. Okay? Hmm. And I also sense you guys are somebody who's loving and caring. That's why this person fell for you as well. And that's why this person realized your worth. That they can sense it. They can't feel this way with others. Well, it's up to you if you really want this person back or not. And they really want to apologize for hurting you. And some of them can't even speak to you because you block them, could be. And what else, angels? They say within this week, okay, let them be. Let them make that decision whether or not to push forward with spirituality or leaving some things behind going to God, 
or continue on doing being childish, being a player type, let them be. But pray to God that someday they will heal. They will be healed. They need deep prayers right now. The angels say pray for them. Pray for them so that their will of fortune may change. So is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose file number two. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.